Hi, I'm Dan, and I'm just going to talk you through how I made my demo piece for uh, Soundiron's new library, David Oliver's Shake. Now, the whole whole piece of music came out of the first idea I played when I opened up the library. Just immediately started playing around with these subsynths and the extra layers. So, when I opened it up, first thing I played was this. Uh, and I was like, ah, that's kind of interesting. I really like the balance of the kind of the electronic with the acoustic shake recordings and um, just felt like it added a really nice detail to the, the sine wave arpeggio thing. So I was like, well, I'm going to stick with that, see where that goes. So what I then did with that, I split it across two two instruments. So this first one, uh, I decided to swap the uh, the sub synth from a sine to a saw just to kind of give it somewhere to go to like open it out a bit later and I've, I've added a, a low pass filter so I could sort of control it and keep that softer sound at the beginning but open it up to something a bit more aggressive a little bit later and I also added this ambience this uh, <laughs> how'd you say that synthetic synthetic looks good written down not sure how to say it anyway just thought that added a really cool extra layer in there kept the shake of percussion stuff as well but i also added that onto another track um and i split it up so it wasn't quite so constant just to make it a bit into a bit more of a rhythm uh just went through muted some of the notes just to give it more of a more of a pattern rather than just a sort of constant pulse um so let's listen to them this is just the first kind of synth thing uh, and i've got a filter opening up sort of moving around to give it a nice bit of movement. Now I really liked having the detail of the shake is still in there, so kind of as the filter opens up you start to hear them sort of peek through but I kept them in as another layer so I can sort of treat them differently and these are them on their own and together and so it also on here on the the sort of more synthy one with the saw I'd added an echo boy to give it a bit of that kind of analog warble kind of tape delay sound and I was really enjoying the sort of warpiness of it so I thought I'd take that even further uh, with this layer <laughs> Again, I'm using like a, a sound toys crystallizer on that just to give it a bit more kind of warpy wonkiness a bit of atmosphere the next thing that kind of gave it the direction that it really ended up going in was these chomp sounds so what I liked about these was um, were these yeah the hoof shakers so it's one sound all the way across the keyboard so as you can see a single sample going all the way across Yeah, so I just enjoyed playing around with those. Um, and it just, I don't know, it just sounded kind of chompy. And I was like, ah, that's a cool sound. I'm going to sort of lean into that a little bit. The next thing that I really liked playing with was uh, these bells. Now, the cool thing you can do with the shake library is on these looped ones, you can adjust the pitch of every slice, um, which I thought was really cool on this sound. Um, And like I just fiddled with that until it gave me a bit of a melody.
yeah, it just sounded like it did something interesting. So is that bass gone? Yeah, so this bass, just again using these really great sort of layer stuff that we've got in here. Uh, sub synth, and that's kind of what's going on in here. But I've again I've <laughs> put loads of plugins on it, and done a, quite a lot of filtering. So I sort of wanted to treat it a bit like the way I'd program an analog synth and set the filter envelope doing stuff. Sort of when the key is struck. So it sounds pretty gnarly on its own. quite like the sort of wobbliness that you kind of get and the the inconsistencies that make it sound a bit more yeah kind of more analog again and then as the track builds i sort of again i've added another layer similar to what i do with like an ms20 uh analog synth is i'd probably add in another oscillator uh, on a different octave or doing something a little bit different as it goes on i started adding this extra oscillator which is just another version of the same sound but treated a little bit differently kind of opening up the filter a bit more later. Yeah, and that was just, it's kind of fun just taking really simple saw waves and sort of seeing what you can get out of them. Uh, and this, this library is great for that because you've got them in these subsynth sections and you can add them underneath as part of part of your shake sounds or as a separate thing uh, oh, and the noise as well added automation on this for the different volumes of the different layers sometimes we get a shaker in there sometimes we get the ambient sometimes we get noise uh, oh yeah the sub synth on this is white noise and then the ambience we've got another one of those shaky synths that I can't pronounce and then we've got the ensemble of yeah original recipe again i just like the way you've got all the different sounds across the keyboard on this one so you hear sometimes you get different layers depending on what i've automated and it sort of yeah it begins to get tonal as you go through it but yeah so it's cool to have the white noise and stuff in there and the Everything else is pretty much straightforward shaker sound. I just want to put a tremolo on, which was quite fun. It just kind of went wild. and So you've got these really mad, <laughs> kind of almost arrhythmic things that I've played, but the tremolo keeps it keeps it in, in time, basically, and, and gives it a nice rhythm. Another thing I don't know how to pronounce, but I like the sound of them. Kasixi. Uh, so yeah, that one's just a straightforward, cool rhythm that I've not really done much with. It just works really nicely. These are the bells. Yes, yeah, so it's just sort of playing it in kind of fragments. I just really like the really sort of rapid bits in this. Really simple sort of offbeat thing going on here. That one goes a bit weird towards the end. There's another crystallizer on it. And then these are really hectic ones, which are pretty fun. So those ones. Um, just playing a bunch of them. Just start, that's just starting it in a different place each, on each key. And so you can see it's just sort of bouncing around, which I really like. really like the sound of. So that's all the bits, oh, except the very end where again these sort of warpy things kind of come into their own. And then just a fairly not particularly processed rain stick over the top of that. But like, again one of the samples where it's one sample across the whole keyboard. Sounds really cool. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole nother track just in there, I think.
Right, so that's all the individual bits. Yeah, let's hear it all together. 